What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Alfexi and welcome back today to Stardew Valley. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Yes, once again we find ourselves on Ronald Farms here for another episode of some farming, some mining, some digging, some collecting and look at our dog. It's a Growlithe. Hello potato, how are you doing? Oh! <laughs> I nearly came upon you with an axe then. I'm so sorry, dude. Do you love me? Of course. Um, so yeah, welcome back, everyone. How are you doing? I hope you are good. Today, we're actually going to be doing something that we were supposed to do last time, but I didn't quite remember how to do it. And I've just realized my parsnips are ready, but a pesky crow has eaten one of them. How dare you, pesky crow? Whoa, let me go and harvest these bad boys. Oh, yeah. This is actually one of the mods that I'm using. It's only a small one, but it means you can harvest stuff with a scythe, which makes life so much easier. Because I seem to remember in like my first Let's Play, you had to like get every single crop by hand. That was super, super annoying. Um, so yeah, okay. What we're gonna be doing today is we're actually gonna be going and unlocking the uh, community center. So the community center is a huge part of Stardew Valley. And basically what you do is you have to collect these bundles. Now certain things appear in different times of the year, Look at Potato go! He's speedy. Nice. Um, but yeah, it actually unlocks brand new areas, bits of the map, bits and pieces like that. So it's a good idea to try and get on that as quickly as possible to try and kind of, you know, start unlocking some new stuff. So I think we have a few things that we can contribute because this is obviously the springtime. And I think, from what I could tell, we need to go and trigger a certain cutscene at a certain time of day in a certain area. So the good news is, we need a sunny day, which is what it is today. Uh, we need it to be past the 5th, which it is, it is the 6th. And we also need to go within, I think it's 8am to 1pm, or something like that. So I think we should be golden. We also do need to get ourselves some new crops. Because, of course, we want to try and get our crop boostage as quickly as possible. We need to make some money. Can I make a, um, a scarecrow? Because I remember you can get special scarecrows from... Um, no, I can't do one just yet. Damn! The crows have the advantage on me. That's not good. Uh, yeah, you can buy special... Uh, you can buy special crows, I was about to say. You can buy special things from the... Um, from the events which take place, which we haven't actually been to just yet, but there will be an event coming up at some point, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, you can buy these special rare crows, which are kind of cool. All right, so hopefully this should work. Do a bit of foraging whilst I'm here. Now I need to access the map from this side at a certain time of day, and hopefully... Oh. Oh. What? Can I go through here? Are you kidding? It says enter Pelican Town for- oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought it was from the bus stop side, as in actual bus, but it should trigger if I do this. Yes, it did it! <laughs> okay, awesome. So this is Lewis, the town mayor, as I'm sure you guys remember. Hello, Sausage, how are you doing? Oh, hi there. Hello, Lewis, how are you doing, buddy? Are you good? I hope so. This is exciting. This is the Pelican Town Community Center. What an eyesore. Oh, no, it looks okay. It's a bit run down, but you know. Uh, this is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. Okay, okay. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. So what happened, dude? Tell me about it. Now just look at it, it's shameful. These days the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. Ah. <sighs> It's ironic that we're sitting here playing a video game when he's saying that. But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Okay, Jojo Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to the relics of the past. Oh well. If anyone else buys a Jojo Co. membership, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. Oh yeah, I remember this now. So, you can either choose to do the community center thing, or you can go and buy a Jojo Corp. membership. And I'm pretty sure that doing this way is the better way of doing it. Um, this game is crazy, like, at first you think it's just like a farming game, but it's not. There are so many cool things that you can do and like paths that you can go down. Okay, hmm, what's this? I guess Vincent and Jas must have been playing in here. Okay, this place is even more dilapidated than I remember. Oh, it's these things. What were they called, Jaminos or something? What? They were like these little weird blobs. I remember these guys. Okay, what's the matter? Are you ill? No, I saw the big, the green blob. You saw it too. Don't give me that sass, Lewis. It's too early in the morning. Ah, oh, you saw something? Hmm, I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. 
Hey, there it is, you see? <laughs> I'm startled. I remember these guys. Okay, so these are like these little helper type things, I think. Yeah, you're worrying me, James. <laughs> okay, look, I'm going to go and head home. I need some lunch. All right, dude, leave me to it. Leave me to it. I want to explore your community center. Come on, stop talking to me. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help me catch that rat if you have some extra time. Oh, Lewis, you know nothing of the glory that is this community center. Strange. I'll have to come back and explore the building further. Don't put me back on the farm. No, no, I want to get back in. I want to go and stop watering the door, James. Let's go. <laughs> so here we go. Right. So this is the bundles. Now, these are really, really important for unlocking future things. So, for example, if I go and click on this. Wait a minute. Why can't I read these? Why am I watering it? Wait a second. Am I missing something here? Huh. Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. So I, what I think I need to do... I can't remember. Am I getting this right? So I, I go to it, and there's nothing that I can do. And then I think the next day I'm able to go and do something with it. I think. I could be wrong. But I, I think that's what happens. Uh, okay, I'll tell you what we'll do, actually. Because we are here, uh, let's go and buy ourselves some new crops. So I think, if I remember correctly... Still can't buy any um, fertilizer, which is a shame. I think the potatoes are the most profitable things we can buy for now. And I know it's a bit annoying because we're going to be spending all the money that we have on potatoes. But at the same time, we're going to have those parsnips that will sell overnight. And also, we can go and forage for some more stuff, which we will do today as well. And then once the potatoes come in, hopefully we'll have enough money to buy that backpack extension. That's the plan anyway. But hopefully that should be okay. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's plant the potatoes that we've got for now. Um, so we've got, I think these are all potatoes and a few cauliflowers, which we did get given as a reward from Gunther, the German, of course. Everyone remembers Gunther. Everyone loves Gunther. He's, he's a bit mad, but he's German, so we can get away with it. <laughs> I should point out that I'm, I'm technically half German, so it's okay. It's cool. I can do a very silly German accent. I can get away with it. It's okay. <laughs> but, uh, okay, okay, let me just have a little look, see if there's anything to forage here. Nope, okay. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do then. We still have, like, quite a bit of time. It's only midday. So, we will go down to the beach. Should I go and fill up my dog bowl? Come on, Growlithe. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Yeah. I don't think filling up the dog bowl does anything. I seem to remember it doesn't do anything, but I could be wrong about that one. All right, let me go and sell these. So we'll just sell this forage stuff for now. I do think we need a few of the foraged items for the bundle, but I think we can find some anyway. So let's go to the beach. Oh, yeah. So I wanted today as well go and visit who could potentially be my wife in the future. Hopefully, maybe. I don't know why I said it like that, <laughs> but <laughs> she could be my wife. She, she's, she's, she's like an alternative lady. Um, so I actually, I've got the notes up here on Abigail, and l let me know, do you, do you guys like what you hear? Do you think we're making a good choice here? So it says, Abigail lives at the general store with her parents. She sometimes fights with her mum, who worries about Abigail's alternative lifestyle. Her mum has uh, the following to say, I wish Abby would dress more appropriately and stop dyeing her hair blue. She's such a wonderful natural hair colour, just like her grandmother did. Oh, and I wish she'd find some wholesome interest instead of this nonsense she's into. You'll find Abigail alone in the graveyard. Oh god, have we made a terrible decision? <laughs> Wait, I swear, I swear I read. It says here, you might find Abigail alone in the graveyard or maybe out in a rainstorm looking for frogs. I swear it didn't say that last time. I swear it said something about her liking video games. Oh, God. Um. <laughs> okay, that's not what I was expecting. I swear it said something like she was like a cool, you because, know, you know, you know, on YouTube and stuff, if, if you're a big YouTuber or if you're like a YouTube girl and stuff, like most of them like dye their hair like a crazy cool color. Uh, like, I don't know, LD Shadow Lady or someone. And I thought, hey, that would be perfect because, you know, we're on YouTube right now. So we should try and we should try and look for a YouTube lady. Um, but she's in the graveyard. OK, this is, this, is, this is taking a bit of a sinister turn. Uh, you know, what? let's go and talk to her. Let's go and talk to her. Let's see what she's up to. Oh, I can't go through here just yet, can I? Oh, I can. Oh, yeah, you can only get into certain bedrooms if you have a certain rating with them. So I have to be friends with Abigail in order for her to let me into her room. Um, so, for example, here, we can actually see where she is. Where is she? Oh, she's outside. Okay, okay, let's... 
<laughs> I've completely, I've, I've definitely read a different Wikipedia than this one. Hmm. Well, the good thing is as well is that her favorite likes are not diamonds. They are amethysts, blackberry cobblers, chocolate cake, pufferfish, pumpkin, and spicy eel. Hmm. Very interesting. Where is she? She is up here somewhere. Oh, yeah. We need to go and do some mining soon as well. I need to get some some stuff together to start making some machines when we unlock them. That would be a really cool thing to do. I want to try and focus mainly on wine and beer production when I get, like, a little bit higher level. Okay, there's Abigail. There she is. Okay, here she is. Oh, that's right. I heard someone was new that was moving into the old farm. Yes, it's me. It's me. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Oh. <laughs> I think Abigail's a bit of a free spirit, you know what I mean? Have we got anything that we can offer her that she likes? Don't suppose you like fish tacos, do you? I picked one of those out of the bin. But if you want it, it's got your name on it. <laughs> I don't think she likes fish tacos. Well, that's a shame. Okay, so our first meeting with Abigail. What we could really ideally do is start bringing her some things that she likes. Uh, so she likes quartz, which is commonly found in caves or mines. That's good news. If she likes quartz, that's good news. Um, we haven't actually been to the mines. Oh, it's 5 p.m. Oh, I'll tell you what we'll do whilst we're here as well. Oh, no, she just closed for the day. Damn. I was going to see if she could... I gonna like, wanted to see what the prices were like. Ah, oh, never mind. Okay, okay. So I'll tell you what, dude. Well, let's go home. Uh, let's go and sell those crops. Let's go and sell our salvaged coral. And then hopefully tomorrow, we should be able to get into the community center. So we'll see. Okie dokie. So we made 800 coins from our parsnips, which is our first ever yield of crop, which is very exciting. Yeah, I've decided with Abigail... I think I think we're going to go for it. You know, from, from what I read there, her mother doesn't really understand her. So her mother really thinks that she's into all of these weird things. But hey, I mean, what's wrong with, you know, being a bit different in life? You know, we, we, all, we all sit at home. We all watch YouTube videos. We might be into animes or, or like cosplaying or video games and stuff. That's an alternative lifestyle. And I think Abigail shares that as well. So it's, it's, it's good to be different. You know what I mean? So I think... I think we're going to ignore the fact that she goes outside in the rain looking for frogs. <laughs> she might really like frogs. I mean, that's fair enough, isn't it? Hey! Oh! Yes, this is the one that I was looking for. Okay, this is the wizard. What does a wizard sound like? Wizard, you shall not pass! Okay, he's going to sound like that. My sources tell me you've been poking around inside the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the forest lake in the toads, stone towers, stone stuff. I may inform... No, I may have information concerning your rat problem. Mr. Rasmodius Wizard is a bit like a drunk Gandalf. That's what I'm going to go... <laughs> That's what we're going to go with. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, okay, okay. Uh, so we get to go visit, visit the wizard. Visit the wizard. That's quite hard to say. We're off to visit the wizard. The wonderful wizard of Stardew Valley. Okay, uh, let me go... Let me go... What am I talking about? Uh, let me go and uh, water my crops quickly, and then we'll go off to see the wizard. And he's going to tell us a bit more about the community center. Ooh. So I think this is the first time we've actually come down to this area. Um, I may have done a little bit of foraging, but if I remember correctly, this is... Oh, yeah. And this is where this lady is. So she is like a... I think she's like a fortune teller or something. She does sell things. Sometimes things that are actually really, really useful. Um... I don't know what that is. There's furniture, pink cake, you know, stuff like that. She does sell some cool things. Sea cucumbers, puffer fish, like slightly harder things to catch with the rod. We don't need anything just yet, but she does uh, come to that place. There's also that secret area to the left, which I think we need to upgrade our axe in order to get. Uh, but let's go to the wizard. Uh, and let's let's go and see what he has to say. So he's going to tell us about the, are they called Jaminos or Janimos? I can't remember. Um, but let's go and talk to him. Is he in here? Ah, Yes. Oh, man, I forgot how cool this room was. Isn't it epic? Ah, come on in. Oh, no, he's drunk Gandalf, isn't he? Okay. You should not pass, wizard. Okay, it's that voice. <laughs> All right, okay, okay, okay. I am Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truths, mediary between physical and ethereal, master of the seven elementals, keeper of the sacred. Oh, you get the point. All right, dude, you're a wizard. I get you. I get you. And you, James, the one who's arrived. I had long foreseen. Okay. Sounds good. There. I'd like to show you something. All right. What are you going to show me, dude? Okay. Behold! Oh! Hey! Okay, there it is. Aha! So that's one of these weird little creatures. Okay. You've seen one before, haven't you? 
I have. I have. Okay. They call themselves the Janimos. Ah, the Janimos. Okay, I, I was kind of right. Mysterious spirits, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. I don't know. Why are they giving you sass, dude? You seem like a pretty decent chap. <laughs> I'm not sure why they've moved into the community center, but they have no reason to fear them. Okay. Right. So, what's he telling us here? Hmm. Ah, you found a golden scroll written in an unknown, unknown language. Have I? Most interesting. Oh, yeah, I found it in the community center, didn't I? Stay here. I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. Oh. He is a proper wizard, isn't he? He just flew away. Mad. Am I just waiting for you? Is that what we're doing? Ah, there he is. Okay, he's back. Mind you, were quick. Okay. I found the note. All right. Okay. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are at one with the forest, then you will see the true natures of this scroll. Ah, okay, so this is definitely right. So we're setting up the bundles, basically. So that's really good news. Hmm, one with the forest? What do they mean? I mean, you're the wizard, dude. You should probably tell me. <laughs> that was me sniffing, just in case you were wondering. Ah, 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 Okay, he's kind of, he's a bit weird, isn't he? Come here! Uh, I don't really want to go anywhere near that big pot of goo, but... Okay. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss grub, caramel top toadstool. Can you smell it? I'm wondering what that smell was, dude. I wasn't going to say anything, but... <laughs> Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. I mean, is that a good idea? Is it, though? Is it, wizard? All right, well, I've drank it, so that's that. And I've gone green. Fantastic. Uh, <laughs> what are you trying to do? Oh, God, everything's gone green. What the heck is this? There's a tree. Oh, God. There's two trees. What the? I, I'm so good. There's three. <laughs> I don't remember this happening last time. There's four trees. Five trees. Six trees. Seven trees. Uh, okay. That was really odd. Hey, you've gained the power of forest magic. You can now decipher the true meaning of the Janemo Scrolls. Yes. Okay, that's actually really good news. So, basically, what that now allows us to do... Oh, I'll tell you what we'll do, actually. Let's go and have a little look through this forest. See if we can find anything to forage whilst we're down here. I'm not seeing anything, though. Okay, I found some spring onions. Uh, these are just wild things that grow in the uh, spring, not the summer. I was just about to say the summer then. Uh, okay, that's good. There's Lewis, just chilling. What's up, dude? How you doing? Uh, we need to start trying to get gifts for people. I think that would be a good way of starting to build up relationships. Um, so yeah, with Abigail, quartz, I think, was actually quite a common resource. Uh, I can't remember what Haley likes. My sister is so weird. Sometimes I wonder if we're actually related. <laughs> She's sassy, Haley. I think. I think she's quite sassy. All right, okay, let's go through here. Ooh, we've got a dandelion. Oh, there's two dandelions. I will take you all. Oh, daffodils even. Ooh. See, I don't think Abigail likes flowers, which is a shame because flowers are really easy to get in this game. <laughs> she likes a bit stranger things like pufferfish, which is a bit odd, but hey, each to their own. Okay, so now basically what we can do is, because we've just talked to the wizard, we can now read these things and they open up bundles. Yeah, so this is the spring foraging bundle. Oh, great. We can do one of them already. <laughs> so we need to find like each one of these. So if you've never seen Stardew Valley before, uh, there's all these foraging bundles. And if you complete them, you get a reward. If you complete every single one within each room, then it unlocks something cool. So we've got spring, winter. We've got exotic bundle here. Oh, yeah, we can tap trees. I forgot about that. So yeah, we need to slowly start working on these. So we're definitely before the spring is over. We definitely need to try and do these. So I've seen leeks already. I've seen wild horse radish, and I've seen uh, dandelions. So that's going to be quite easy to do, in terms of that one. Uh, there's also, oh, do we need to do that room first? I think maybe we need to do that room first to unlock the next one. Unless there was two. I thought there was two. Or do we have to do them room by room? No, we have to do them room by room. Okay, so that's the first one that we need to do. Um. So foraging is a really important thing, especially for one, gaining money, but two, in order to unlock those things as well. So i tell you what we'll do. 
let's go and have just a little forage whilst we have some time. I haven't been down to the beach today. I would like to go and do that to try and get some cash, but I would like to get the bundle completed as soon as possible. So uh, let's go and have a little look. I'm going to get my, my hoe out. Oh, hey. Are these like little help books and stuff? Uh, lost book. Okay, so it's added to the library. Uh, let's go and have a little look around. See if we can find anything. Ah, so nothing yet, but I thought we would unlock the mines. Because this is going to be a really useful place to go. So this is Marlon. He's a bit sort of... He's a bit weird, isn't he? So he's like... I, who can he be? I, he, can be he can be like terrible American. Hmm. Oh, is that what you're going to say? <laughs> I mean, it makes my life easier if that's what you're going to say, dude. Just, just going to throw that out there. Okay. I was just peering down in this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Okay. Still, there's probably a good ore down there, but a dark place, undisturbed for so long, I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Yes. Here, take this. You might need it. What is it? Hey, I got my sword. Woohoo! Oh no, that's just one more. <laughs> one more backpack slot I don't have now. <sighs> Alright. Name's Marlon, by the way. I run the Adventurers Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself and might think about making you a member. Oh yeah, you can unlock reward tiers and stuff. Oh, okay, so this is the mines. In case you don't know what this is, this is where you get all of your like resources and stuff. It's actually really useful, but I think it gives you a lift every... Oh yeah, you need to find the staircase, don't you? So yeah, check this out. You need to find the staircase, and then you go down. I think every five layers, uh, you unlock a lift, which means you can get back. Uh, I tell you what I'll do. I, 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 might as well, I might as well just do this, and seeing as I'm down here now. Uh, let me just try and get five layers. I don't think we're going to find many ores at this level. Oh, quartz, yes! We can give that to, um, we can give that to Abigail, because that's what she likes. Nice. Okay, ooh, there's a slime here. See, I told you there were slimes in this game. <laughs> Not quite slime rancher slimes, but better than nothing. Okay, so I changed my mind on going mining just, like, right now. I think we would have ran out of time really quickly. Um, what's the best way to mine is to go pretty much at the very beginning of the day, uh, and then it kind of gives you, like, the opportunity to do a lot of it and to try and get that five layers down. Uh, I don't think we would have had time just in this one. So, no big deal. It's another day, another dollar. Um, so let's go to sleep here. Now, I did want to go and meet Abigail to give her her quartz. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's go to sleep. Uh, did we sell anything? We just sold some foraged items. Oh, I didn't go to the beach to forage. Ah, I forgot to do that. That's really annoying. Oh, I guess we can go now. It doesn't matter. So, uh, okay, okay, okay. So what we're going to do is let's go. Let's go and find Abigail. I think that would be a good thing to do. So let me just water my plants. Oh, the sooner we can get sprinklers, the better. Because it saves so much hassle at the beginning of each day. Uh, but yeah, we've just got to keep farming. And hopefully we can unlock those. So hang on. Bear with. Bear with. Ah, check this out. Is this one of the mods that I've put in? I think it might be, actually. So, um, it shows you the day. Obviously, this is the calendar. Now, we can buy one of these for our house, which we'll need to do soon. But if we have hover over the people that we've already met, it will actually show you their favourite gifts, which is great. Uh, we haven't met a few of these people yet. So, we haven't met Emily, haven't met Shane, Pierre, Pam. I swear I've met Pierre. I mean, I've bought loads of stuff off him. Uh, it's locked. Oh, okay, let me wait a few minutes. Uh, but yeah, it does show you what people like, which is pretty handy. Uh, who are you? Oh, you're Gus. I'm getting some supplies for the saloon. Pierre's got some good stuff. Okay, that's the barkeep. The local barkeep. Can I go through here? I'm trying to find Abigail. Oh, there she is. There she is. All right, I'm going to surprise her. She's come out of her room. Quartz. Yes. Hey, how did you know? I was hungry. This looks delicious. It's quartz, Abigail. What are you doing? You're eating rocks. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, she stands in the rain looking for frogs and she eats rocks. Oh, she sounds like a lizard or something. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I think she liked it, though. I mean, I thought she, maybe she'd, she'd wear it or something, like as a bit of a jewelry thing. But no, she's eating. She's eating. She's eating the quartz. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> okay, let me talk to her as well. Uh, oh, hey, taking a break from work. Yep, to give you some rocks. What a guy. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, I think that might be about it for this video here on Stardew Valley today. So yeah, just wanted to say thank you to everyone who is tuning in and watching the Stardew Valley. I really hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, I can't quite explain how much more crazy stuff will happen in this game. It's one of those games where you just have to play and wait and find out. But um, 
yeah, thank you for uh, for tuning in. I think it's been three episodes now, but I'm really enjoying playing this again. There's so many cool things. I'm looking forward to it. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. So I hope you guys continue to tune in. Uh, and also, if you are enjoying the series, please remember to poke me in that like button. It really helps me show your support and stuff. And uh, yeah, it's, it's quite motivational. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. So we will continue on next time with some more Stardew Valley. But until then, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Rantio! <laughs>